Hi, I'm Kevin Tracy of ktracy.com, and today I'm coloring page 14 of my coloring book, The MS Paint Comic, Painting North Korea Red, available at Amazon and ktracy.com. This series is my excuse to color in all the pages of this coloring book and turn it into a free webcomic on ktracy.com. Today I'm coloring on my Dell XPS 13 laptop with a Bamboo Ink Smart Stylus. This is the same combo I used to color the cover of this coloring book, so I'm leaving affiliate links to Amazon for both of these products below if you want to learn more about the products, because I really do like them. And if you really do like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, or subscribing. I'm posting two new videos a week, and I'd love if you joined our growing community. Okay, PSA out of the way. I'm also using the open source drawing software Krita for this coloring experiment. This is my first time using this software for anything, so if there's a better way to do something here, please by all means feel free to let me know in the comments because truthfully, I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Right, for those of you who aren't subscribed to my channel, I draw mostly in Microsoft Paint. And drawing mostly with a mouse and MS Paint, I don't use my drawing stylus as often as most digital artists do. And that's contributed a lot to how my style has evolved into what it is today. I love the style that I've developed over the past 15 years of doing pixel art like this, but there is one problem with it. It doesn't transfer very well into grayscale. This means that my comics need to be printed in full color, which is expensive. This makes my comics more expensive to produce and makes publishing new comics an enormous burden to my business's short-term finances. For example, it took three and a half years to sell enough copies of Volume 1 of the MS Paint comic to begin making a profit. Part of this is my fault for not marketing the books because I had a day job and other responsibilities, but the coloring book, which is entirely in black and white and only has a color cover, paid for itself in under two months. But as fun as these coloring book comics are to create, I want to do more than that. And that means I need to figure out a black and white style for my more affordable one-off comics. Now, you may have noticed the past few pages have been done in grayscale, and as I said when I started this trend, I'm actively in the process of drawing a comic outside of the MS Paint comic universe, and it's going to be printed in black and white. So I have to get my grayscale style figured out soon. I know there are certain style conventions for inking and coloring black and white comics that are universally agreed upon as good, but I pride myself in being different and developing personal styles that are not influenced by industry and social norms. In fact, I want to run contrary to industry and social norms. I mean, I draw comic books and Microsoft Paint. It's what I do. When people stop by my table at comic conventions, they may hate my art or they may love my art but just about every one of them will say it's unique. And for me, that's a compliment, even if they don't always mean it as such. Anyway, as I'm drawing this, I was I happened to be listening to Doris Day and one of her compilation albums happened to have a short interview on it. Dick Stroud asked Doris Day, did you search for a style of singing or did it just come as a result of your early work with the bands? And Doris Day replied, I think that it just happens and it's best not to work on a style, so to speak. I think it's a bit gimmicky when you do. I think your style comes from within, and naturally your tone comes from within, and I think your tone sets the style. Now, Doris Day is a singer and I'm a visual medium artist, but this still kind of got me thinking. My pixel art style has developed on its own over the years. My character's eyes used to be a lot smaller, further apart, there was no shading at all, Kevin's hair was just a mess of lines. And as I've drawn more, I've become better at expressing myself and my ideas through the style, and my style has only really changed to help me better express myself and the tone that I want to convey. I've never consciously worked on my style. I'm sure there are critics out there who would say that's obvious. Ha 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 ha. Actually, you know, that is kind of funny, but I, I think that gets back to what Doris Day said. Yeah. I could practice drawing the same high contrast, gritty style that's popular right now, but it'd be 100% gimmicky. I could try making my art look more like manga, but again, that'd be 100% more gimmicky. And I know some of you have styles you like or things you would like me to try incorporating into my art. And I love my viewers a lot, and I'm so thankful for all of you who are spending part of your week with me. But in the interest of being honest with you and being true to myself and my art, I don't care and I really don't want your advice on my style. I know your hearts are in the right place, but just like my color comic style, my grayscale style is going to develop over time as I continue expressing myself and set my tone in digital grayscale. 
So yeah, I'm going to stop worrying about style and just have fun. This experience with the Bamboo Ink Stylus, my Dell XPS 13 and Krita, it was a good one. I definitely won't say this, what you're looking at right here is my grayscale style because I, I'm not a terribly big fan of this. But it was my first time doing something like this and it was enjoyable, especially after hearing that part of Doris Day's interview because to be honest, I was kind of dragging along up until I heard that. So yeah, it's back to the basics for me. I'm not going to stress about my lack of a defined style. I'm just going to have fun and trust that whatever style I need to express myself for my black and white work is just going to develop from within. So yeah, thank you, Doris Day. And thank you for watching. Even though I don't want your advice on my style, I'd still love to hear your feedback on this and my other videos. On the right is a playlist of my time-lapse pixel art and a video that YouTube's logarithms think you're going to love based on your viewing history.